three out of my four Vegas trips have been extremely successful. If you add up all the units all my Vegas clients have made, they made over 60 fucking units. They are up a ton of fucking money. Three and one, three and one, three and one, 75% on my Vegas trips. And we're going back to Vegas, baby, for the strongest game of my life of my career, Saturday night, ABC, National TV, USC Stanford, USC Stanford, USC Stanford. Now, nobody knows USC like I do. When I've used USC for money this year, a perfect 4 and 0, 4 and 0, 4 and 0. When I've used Stanford for money, I am a perfect 4 and 0, 4 and 0, 4 and 0, including giving you Stanford on a money line to piss on Oregon, including giving you Stanford plus the points to piss on Oregon, including giving you under the total, under the total, under the total in Stanford, Oregon. So listen, listen, listen. If you've been with me for my four Vegas trips, you know, you love me, you're up millions of dollars, you're up hundreds of thousands of dollars, you're up tens of thousands of dollars. If this is your first trip you're going on, here's how it works. We're going to bet every fucking thing we own on the winner of USC Stanford. My money, personally, $200 million. $200 million of my fucking money will be bet straight up on that game. Then I'm going to make, then you're going to make seven two-team parlays using seven college football games on Saturday and seven two-team parlays using seven NFL games on Sunday. Saturday, you'll have the college football games Friday night. You'll have my Sunday NFL games Saturday morning. You will make 14 two-team parlays with the winner of USC Stanford. You will make more money than you've ever made in your life. Nickel better makes 50,000. Dime better, 100,000. 10 dime better makes a million fucking dollars. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, 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 listen. Score out. It's only going to cost you $29,999. $29,999. $29,999. Get it right now via PayPal at StuFinder.com, StuFinder.com, StuFinder.com. Now, if you want to pay me for the rest of the NFL season through the Super Bowl, if you want to pay me for the rest of the college football season through the championship game on January 6th and all the college bowl games where I pick a college bowl side and a college bowl total on every college bowl game, if you want to pay me through the NBA championship in June or the college basketball championship in April, I will work out a package with you that works so you won't take a major hit paying me 30 grand for just the weekend. I'll encapsulate it in. I'll squish it in. I'll work out a package that caters to your needs. Now listen, whether you're a $50 better or a million dollar better, I treat you with the same integrity and the same respect. Because in this day and age of social networking and transparency, you just never know who you're going to speak to. For example, if I do an excellent job for you, you might say something to someone who says something to someone who says something to someone, and then I get a million dollar player on my desk because of you. Here's the case in point. I had a kid from Brown University lose $1,400 on his own, and he was suicidal. Called my company. He was $100 better. Took me about 30 days, but I made him over $3,000, okay? Happiest kid in the world. And then he stopped gambling. Never gambled again. Couldn't handle the highs and lows. Couldn't handle losing. Couldn't handle the pressure. But goes to a wedding, gives my card to somebody at the wedding. That individual was a $200,000 better. That individual, year to date, has paid my company five million dollars. That's how it works. Word of mouth. You're like an octopus. You're like an octopus. Every client's worth a million dollars to me. Your tentacles fly high. Your tentacles touch the world, touch everybody that you're involved with. That's how I do business. That's how I get my clientele. That's why I write 15 million a year pay-per-click on the website. That's why I write another 100 million worldwide. That's why I have 2,000 employees. That's why I have 50,000 customers. That's why the biggest bet is in the world trust me with their money. Now today, on this Wednesday, it's a monster fucking day. First of all, my college football Wednesday game of the year. Not the week, not the month, not the year. The fucking year. The motherfucking year. The year. I love this college football game. Plus, I have a personal play NBA best bet first of the season. 
first of the season NBA personal play. Plus, I have a college basketball human lock that's like stealing fucking money. Plus, the Godfather nails Toledo last night. Got a little dicey at the end, but what are they up? 30, 38 nothing? 31 nothing? Come on, you fucking crazy. The Godfather has another college football game on the card right now. So you pay me for my one day package, pay me for a week, pay me for a month, pay me for a year. Pay me for the Vegas games. I will score out for you. On the free pick phone right now, we have a potpourri. Two over-unders in college football. Two college basketball winners. Two NBA basketball winners. 6-0 and on the free pick phone. 800-982-2211. On a recorded message. 800-982-2211. Now, on the video blog, if you didn't see last week's, then this week's might not make a little sense. But Farmingdale football. The Farmingdale Dalers went 8-0 this year and really got no respect by Newsday. Matter of fact, Newsday fucked them. They fucked them. They fucked them. They shit all over their fucking face after going 8-0. So our first playoff game, we win like 300 nothing. 300 nothing. So now we're the number one seed in Nassau County, and we might be the number one seed overall on Long Island, the odds-on favorite to win the Long Island Championship, which we haven't done in a while. So I ripped fucking Newsday a new ass, and I ripped my buddy Greg Sarah a new ass, telling him I wipe my ass with his top ten that he picks on Long Island of the top ten teams, which Farmingdale has never made until this week. Oddly enough, Greg came to his fucking senses and said, Stu, you're right. And he put Farmingdale at number seven at 9-0, 9-0, 9-0, playing this Saturday at 5 o'clock at Hofstra for the second round of the playoffs, the semifinals. Now, I did another video blog that's on there right now. My first video blog was shredding Sarah. This one's humbling myself to Sarah because I told him I used to wipe my ass with the newspaper. I bought toilet paper. On the video blog, you watch me wipe my ass. It's a little dicey, it's a little disgusting, and my ass is full of blood and boil and vile and bile and grossness and hair. And could you imagine my fucking ass? Please, can you fucking believe this? So on the video blog, I wipe my fucking ass with toilet paper. You'll see it. And also an announcement, an announcement. I'm going to be on Newsday tomorrow. I am the guest handicapper picking college football. Excuse me. <laughs> picking high school, high school football against the experts. Obviously... They can't shine my shoes. They can't fucking hold my ball sack. I will humiliate them. I'm picking high school football by Newsday tomorrow. By the Newsday, the guest handicapper is Mia Sostu Finer. I love you. God bless you. Let's rock and roll. Let's enjoy life. Enjoy your family. Enjoy yourself. And let's make money gambling, which is what I do for Mia Sostu Finer.